Hi, tonight's video is on do you know what the four P's are and how do they influence labor? So the first one is powers, then there's passage, passenger, and psyche. So the first one, the powers, that's pretty much the uterine contractions and then the efforts of the pregnant person pushing. Um, so we want strong uterine contractions that are going to dilate the cervix and pregnant person pushes baby out, right? The passage, it's also known as the pelvis and there's a skill called pelvimetry where we examine um, the pregnant person and see those measurements and also there's four classifications of a pelvis. There's a gynecoid, android, anthropoid, and platypoid. So often pregnant people are identified for having one of those type of pelvis and sometimes a combination of them. And then the passenger is the baby. So it's important to know the fetal lie, presentation, position, attitude, if the head is um, synclitic or asynclitic, the cardinal movements, also known as the mechanisms of labor, and then the size of the baby as well. And the fourth one, psyche, so that's pretty much the emotional state of the pregnant person. So it's important to know, is the pregnant person stressed, tensed, angry, um, scared, unsupported? How is the pregnant person feeling? Or is the pregnant person, you know, excited, ready to push the baby out, um, very supported, loved, you know, just the energy. So all four P's are important for a successful vaginal birth.